Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pikminicus Plays Re- uh, Free Assembly from the depths And then anyway, in the last episode, we laid out a lot of missiles and Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we did and added the wings, yes, and that too But anyway, so what I have done with the missiles, I've added some skirting And as you can see on the bottom of my craft, I have- I was working on some thrusters for our ship to get some pretty good lift off. So anyway, we're gonna be working on those today. So anyway, I'm planning on at least having about, oh man, I want, how many could I possibly fit on this thing actually? Let me see. Uh, I can, I probably want about three on each side. So let's go ahead and start working on that right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab this jet intake right here and then just slide it right along and then uh, pop it down. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop that is three wood beams. Um, can we put another one if we waited three wood beams? Let me see. Uh, no, we can. Well, let me see here. I got to look at the schematics. Um, I think we're only going to be able to do two if we do that. Okay, let me see here. Uh, okay, if we do every two, we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do every two. And I think this jet intake goes right here. Um, yes. Yeah, okay, so it goes there. So we need to place it about every two. So let's go ahead and skirt that down right there and then place it right there. Okay, so anyway, these are where our engines are gonna be going. So we're gonna have three in total on each side and I don't have mirror mode turned on. Wow, I am so happy with myself. Good job, me, Shishola. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to turn that on. <gasps> nah. Okay, so anyway, now it's on and now we can just go ahead and just go back down right here and then remove and displace back stuff. So anyway, remove and then place it back. All that great stuff. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot about that. That drives me insane. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and put that back right there. And now let's go ahead and start working on these bad boys right here. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab this jet controller and then slap it right behind the jet intakes right here. And then uh, put this one right behind that jet intake. Oh, nope, one there. There we go, sweet. Okay, so anyway, we got that right there. And then we can go ahead and place the jet compressors. Now, also in this episode, I probably want to um, work on some of the uh, jet skirting, I guess that's what you could call it. So we can armor up the jets so if missiles try to hit them, we will be all right. Also, I want to try to add some flare missiles. Those would be fantastic to distract um any enemy missiles trying to aim for the wings and uh, try to divert their attention away from the uh, from the main from these things these things you know what they are so anyway let's go ahead add some more of those guys right there and now let's go ahead and add some of the combustion chambers jet combustion chambers so let's go ahead and add a couple of those jet combustors <laughs> jet combustor chambers whatever I mean it's kind of the same thing you know it's kind of the same same thing so anyway let's go ahead add some of those right there and now let's go ahead and grab the uh, the jet exhaust and now we can go ahead and plop one right there and then plop one right there so that's the episode guys I'm kidding it's not so anyway we have these fine looking jets right here now all we need to do is oh yeah I forgot we need to add these things on yeah, that's right I forgot I put those on so anyway let's go ahead skirt up here and let's go ahead and go plop that one right there and then plop this one right over here flip that around and now we have that one there and now let's go ahead alt down and then E right here awesome and now we will go ahead to this side right here and then we can go ahead put one there and then space up and then cap and then that and then uh, hop out here and then flip it over and then we got that awesome sweet so now all we need to do is uh, get some skirting around these things protect them with some missiles and then add some flare missiles I don't want to put them on top I don't want to make them interfere with the DPS missiles I just want to put some probably make a couple of just defensive missiles probably put two here and then two here so that'll be four defensive missiles maybe i'll probably do something like that and prop maybe add some torpedoes along with the defensive missiles just for some added funsies so anyway um let's go uh let me see here i don't i wonder how you make a flare missile i actually don't know how to make one so that's gonna be interesting me tr watching me trying to figure out how to make one of those so yeah um, let's first go out and start working on some skirting around these thrusters, shall we? So anyway, these things are pretty big. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to skirt these things well, but, you know, we'll just go ahead and work with it. Yeah, no, all that cool stuff. So anyway, looks like one of these things can go down pretty nicely. So let's go ahead 
put one down right there and then put one here and then put one right around there so that's nice and dandy like all right so anyway let's go ahead and do the same right here la 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 and then uh the same right here so anyway la 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 and i cannot see when you do that game okay there we go zoomed up all that great stuff so anyway let's go ahead and add some uh the thing is we need to add thingies yes we all need to add the thingy. So anyway, go, let's go ahead and add the wood triangles right here. And then go around here and then flip this bad boy around like so. Awesome. And now we will go ahead and add more of these uh, wood planks right here. Not wood planks, but you know what I mean. Nope, that's not the right way. There we go. Awesome. So anyway, let's go ahead, slide some down right there. And uh, those are going to interfere, aren't they? Well, I mean, we could have those exposed if we want to, or we could just take them off entirely. I wouldn't really care about that because they don't do a whole lot, and I really, I'd rather have these things cased. You know what? I'm gonna have these things cased instead of, um, instead of having these things because I, I think armor is more important than just more thrusters because I think this should be fine to carry our ginormous wooden structure of amazingness. So anyway, let's go ahead, put these bad boys on like this. All right, and um, let me go, ooh, okay, at the bottom here. Oh yeah, we need to extend this one out by one more, like so. And there's our thruster casing, and not too shabby, pretty happy with that. And at the bottom, oh, this is spaced out four blocks, fantastic, sweet. We don't have to make anything new, oh wait, wait, that's three blocks, oh, never mind. Um, let's go ahead and use the beams to extend this out. Uh, wait, is it, is it an even number? Please tell me it's even number, please. Say it's even number. Please say it's even number. Please tell me this is even number so I won't have to mess with anything and go anything fancy. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's, e it's an even number. Sweet. All right, so anyway, we can just go ahead and load in these planks like so. Awesome. This gun skirting is going to look fantastic. Gun skirting. Jet skirting is going to look fantastic. Sweet. So now we have, well, we have jets. We have jet skirting, everybody. Yay, jet skirting. It looks weird, but you know, it's fine for first aircraft, right? It's fine for first aircraft. So anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of this and then this. It's not supposed to look pretty. It's supposed to look amazing Is it because, and I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I, I don't mind about that. I'll probably edit it in the future, but right now we're just going to keep it as is because I want to focus on some other stuff. So anyway, um, that's probably what I'm going to be doing with the other jets and stuff. Well... Um, I don't know if I should clip it out. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and clip out me actually adding more of the jet skirting on the other one. So anyway, see you all back when I get that done. All right, guys. So anyway, I fin I just finished up those three thrusters. And you know what? Look, taking it like a look back right here, that actually looks pretty sweet. I do like that a lot. So I might change some stuff about that. Um, maybe alter the skirting. That's probably what I'm going to mainly do about that. I'm not completely satisfied, but you won't see me making all these teensy weensy adjustments to it. So anyway, let's go ahead and work on something a little bit more fun. And let's go ahead and try to add some flare missiles. Now, I do not have good experience with flare missiles. I don't know how to build them. This is going to be my first time actually working with these flare missiles so please bear with me as I just <laughs> just mosey on down here and actually try to find a way how to make these stinking flare missiles and first we actually need a uh, weapons AI or whatever the thing is called oh yeah so anyway let's go ahead and grab one right here local weapon controller yes we need one of those first so anyway let's go ahead and flip it upside down yeah I was about to say if you can't mount that thing upside down that's kind of stupid okay so anyway uh, I guess we could put it here. Why not? <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna have to uh, just leave those unconnect uh, separated. We're just gonna have to have one for each thing. So anyway, um, that is on that side, and I think that's even. That looks pretty even from here. Yeah, is that even? Well, it's gonna have to work because that's where I'm gonna do it. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and start working on some missile stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we also need to attach some fail safes. Can't go out without the fail safes. All the fail safes. So, anyway, let's go ahead, put those on right there. And now let's go ahead and work on some missile systems. Now we will be able to add a decent amount through here. And I, I believe we'll have plenty enough um, of ammo to actually support all of this. Now, you guys are probably thinking this is not going to be an early game ship. And you guys are correct. This guy is not going to be an early game ship at all well he might be I don't know how much resource this guy's taking up right now but it's probably a lot so anyway let's go ahead start working on some uh, missiles so <laughs> getting back on topic okay so anyway 
Let's go ahead and add a missile controller right around here. Yep, yep. Let's go put that right here. Awesome. And let's go ahead and we'll just try to we'll try to knock it back and forth. You know all that fun stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and add those right there. And now we will go ahead and put some uh, not missile blocks yet. We gotta have them six-way missile connectors. And let's go ahead and slap those bad boys on. We'll go ahead and add. Um, uh, let's go ahead and keep a one space gap in between those and the engine so if I want to extend uh, stuff I can so anyway that's a five missile block setup I really like that okay so anyway let's go ahead and put that there well not five missile block setup but you know what I mean so anyway let's go ahead and put that there and then that's fine and then we can put this here and this here and then wait that is that is not centered that this ain't sent well I don't like it either way we're gonna have to change this okay move this over here no move that why did you place two whatever <laughs> all right so anyway let's go ahead just shift this over right here and that fell safe is magic I love that fell safe new favorite fell safe right there um it doesn't really have to face in that direction does it I'm not sure um, it, well, I'm just gonna do it anyway because I'm paranoid. So anyway, let's go ahead get rid of the cell uh, cell face. Yes, the cell face. <laughs> so anyway, we got this setup right here, and um, we got a missile stuff right there. And for flare missiles, I don't think you need a whole lot, honestly. So um, we should be all right. So um, we will only probably need about three missile blocks. I'm assuming because we won't need like tracking predictance or something like that. So anyway. Let's go ahead and place down the launch pads right along here. So anyway, let's go ahead and flip these bad boys up and then just not facing up my word. Okay, okay, uh, facing this way. There we go. And we can just go ahead and do that right there. And then we can just mosey on right down here and then go like, uh, oh, that was right. Okay, there we go. Uh, and five. There we go. Sweet. So now we got that set up right there. And now we can go ahead and add some missile blocks. Uh, that is only gonna be two. We're gonna have a slight. Well, should we move those back a little bit? Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to move those back actually. Well, if you if you see them moved back, it's because I changed my mind because I can't make up my mind. But anyway, let's go ahead and add some missile blocks onto this bad boy right here. So anyway, this will probably be my last weapon system I'll add. And uh, don't put it on like that. Get, put it on something interesting. There we go. Let's do it like that. And so we can actually, well, three blocks or two blocks. It's really not going to make a difference because you're not really going to see it overhang at all. So, um, because it's going to be, because it's, you just have the bars right there. Oh, that actually looks pretty sweet. I like that actually. Yeah, let's do three missiles. I like the three missile block orientation setup. Sweet. So now we have six missile components to mess around with. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what I wanted. So anyway, we got one, two, three, and then one, two, three and one two three and okay so anyway after i will quit saying one two three but anyway um what i wanted to just give you a little pointer is vertical missiles just this one little tidbit of uh, information i one time when i was working on a uh, flick and you remember flick if you guys were watching from the first episode flick was my um weapon missile carrier guy but anyway what i was experimenting around with just saying, do not whatsoever try to experiment with vertical missiles. They're so, they're not good. I mean, if you have a horizontal missile, they'll do fine. They'll do absolutely fine. But if you have a vertical missile, it's just not worth it. But if you want to aim at a target that's diagonal or running to go up or something, just make it where the missile's on a two-axis turret and then just experiment with that. Because just having it where it's just a vertical missile it's just a nightmare and then with all the one turns the one turns are real if you're experimenting with um vertical missiles but really it's not really worth your time experimenting with um vertical missiles just go with the horizontal ones or if you're really wanting them to shoot upwards just add a two axis turret like i did so anyway um with these guys right here uh let's go ahead and try to work out these uh the the things we're gonna do with these things so anyway I at least want on each of these, I at least with the stinking voice crack or whatever, let's go ahead and add some flares. So I'm assuming there is uh, some kind of, um, there's some kind of something for a magnet. Okay, we'll probably want that for the torpedoes. Um, but what, what I mean to say is 
There probably is like flare or something on this. I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming there's something on this. We got AP and guys. <laughs> The sticky. <laughs> so anyway, we got that right here, and then we'll just go ahead and assign to all same things right there. So anyway, we have our flare missiles set up right here, looking all flary and all that cool stuff. Sweet, awesome. Look at that. Look at our flares. Oh, we got to assign the same for that. Well, I'll do that later. But for now, I will just go ahead and work on the missiles that we have now, so you guys have a good idea of what I'm going to be doing with this ship. You won't have to see me going through. Switching back over to other sides and stuff messing around with that instead You'll just see me with raw stuff and just using missiles and all that cool stuff So anyway, let's go ahead and determine what we want for the torpedoes now for the torpedoes um, we'll, we'll go ahead have and ha go ahead and have three of those because we're gonna have four infrared uh, Infrared distracting missiles around the sides, but for these we're just gonna have three torpedoes on each of these missile huds So anyway right here, let's go ahead and these are not going to be torpedoes. These are going to be torpedo, t torpedoes. Yes, torpedoes. I'm so from Kansas. Oh my goodness. So anyway, torpedo pit propellers. The torpedo, the propeller unit works underwater to provide. Some. So what does the snore do again? The snore. Uh, well, unit will find targets. Yes, we need that. Uh, yes, we need that right here. Um, we'll go ahead and slap that right there. And then the fuel tank. We do need a fuel tank. Uh, I don't know if I want two of those really um, we actually just I need uh, ballast tanks if we want to hunt down for torpedoes uh, not torpedoes I mean submarines where's the ballast tanks I actually kind of want to I really want to try those out the ballast tank we use set in debt that float at death is something or other I'm not really hunting uh, I'm not hunting torpedoes right now but I'm assuming the torpedo will be able to aim itself downwards and actually trying to don't look at my email oh my goodness and actually try to hunt down some marines but we're not there's not a whole lot of submarines in the game so I'm not really worried about that and I think that even missiles can just go ahead and just plop down and kill them if I wanted to but anyway we're experimenting with torpedoes and I'm getting off track again forgive me for that so anyway uh, let's go ahead and for torpedoes um, do I need to add, um, I probably need to add some, an explosive warheads to these things. So anyway, at top here, we probably need, uh, explosive warheads. Lots of explosive warheads. Yes, we'll put one here. And then we still need fins, but two fuel tanks, uh, let's add another explosive warhead. Yep, the explosive warhead zones. Oh yeah, look at that. Now you're stepping into the explosive warhead zone, people. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It looks so good. So, anyway, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do with the missiles and stuff. So, anyway, um, do I want to cover anything else I want to do in this episode? Um, well, I'll go. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and clip it out where I have everything fixed with uh, torpedo missiles and all that stuff. And I will go ahead and see you guys in a bit.
Alright guys, so anyway, I just finished uh, working on the missiles and stuff, so anyway, I have finally seen it, and you guys probably before, you were like, oh, Big Manicus, there's a missile interceptor module, well, when I was actually working on torpedoes and the other missile interceptor parts and all that stuff, I found this component, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I, re I guess I really need it, it says missile interceptor, and that's what I need these missiles to do. So anyway, I have some of these missile interceptor thingies on my missile interceptor missiles. And then we have just three torpedoes in the middle right here. And then three torps right here as well. Torps is short for torpedoes. And anyway, we have the missiles interceptors right there and there. And this ship is going to probably take up lots and lots of ammo. But man, this is going to be one missile heaven, man. Just missiles everywhere. When it attacks the enemy, it's just like missiles and torpedoes and flare missiles. We'll actually have... We're pretty good defense with that if uh, the enemy does have uh, infrared sinking missiles and they usually do so anyway we have that and also I did not mess around with that side so I will do be doing that off camera but anyway I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I did off camera and I made some adjustments as well also for the torpedoes I made it a short range thruster wait I forgot to change this to a uh, propeller right one second uh, let's go ahead and put that as propeller and there it is all right, so anyway, anything, everything is okay. So anyway, we have two explosive, explosive warheads, torpedo sonar. I was mispronouncing that the whole time. I was calling it a snore, a, t a torpedo snore. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. But anyway, we got that working out right there. And so that's pretty much what I did in this episode. So yeah, anyway, what we did in this episode, uh, jets and skirting and then some missile stuff. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, why don't you hit that like button. Why don't you comment down below and tell some feelings about this video. And why not you subscribe for more uh, From the Depths content, Reassembly, Robocraft, all that cool stuff. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, please subscribe. And anyway, God bless you super awesome peoples. And goodbye.